Oh my god. Solar What's showers. up? How's it going? Welcome yeah. back to another episode of uh the Nerd Divide Podcast. Yes. It has been a while. Um today for you guys it is September 5th, which means it's nationally late for something day. So is it? Yeah. Be late for something. National be late for something day. Um. Uh, so pretty much everyone we know. Um, and it's National Cheese Pizza Day. Happy birthday to the cheese pizzas. Yeah, especially. You guys are uh, really fucking tasty. <laughs> the f that is not funny. It's just a common fact. Um, out of context. <laughs> Um. Jeez, man. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> From what I saw. Yeah. So, Jake, the saga has been continuing in the background through this past week with the dating app saga of ours. Um, you can go first. <laughs> Because let's get the uh, worst uh, story out of the way, and then we'll get into the nitty gritties with mine. I'm on the verge of a manic episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. Um, so yeah. Pull your mic a little closer. Yeah. I was gonna. I was putting my phone away. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we both decided, you know, Bumble may not be the answer. Yeah. So, let's go to the the Tinder. Even though we were kind of... We both have had statements in the past on here and on FGC that were like, <laughs> Tinder is just the horny but It's it's gotten to the point where, like, we were desperate. Yeah. I still like am. anything. I still am. Yeah. Um. So, we were just like, you know what? Let, let's do it. Let's... Let's... And... I, I got... Because <laughs> you joined... And we already had like a discussion for it. Yeah. And we're just like, should we just go to the Tinder? And you're yeah. like, bro, I'm going to go there right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then you made an account and then like you got like three likes or something. And it and made me all, make yeah. a Tinder. And, and they were all bots. Yeah. That happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. It. It's it's a hellscape. <laughs> yeah. Of, And. And it's just, they put like the dating apps. There's just something that's just so addicting about it. That's just, it's kind of like a mobile game. That it's just like you just like you got you just keep swiping. And I um, but I did get a like from a genuine person. And I am still, to this day, yeah. <laughs> to this day, <laughs> I'm still mad about this. I'm yeah. still upset about this. I got a. I tried, um, you, you suggested I try one of the categories. Yeah. And I, I think I swiped right on this girl and then I got a notification that I got a new, like, and I was just like, eh, it's probably a bot. So I looked and I'm like, oh, wow, it looks like it's an actual person. So I was just, I'm, I'm the worst at communicating and Tinder is very, um, we have to, we have to do the talking first compared to like Bumble. Which is like my only. Uh, the first girl that reached out to me reached out to me first. So I, I, I messaged first. And I just was like, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I can't like over, over analyze, try to overthink. So I just like, I gotta, I gotta just be me. Like, you know, I, I can't. So I was just like, hey, like, um, they posted a picture of their cat, and I was like, "Oh, your cat's your cat's adorable." And then she was just like, "She was like, thank you." And then, you know, at first I was just like, "Yeah, this this isn't gonna nothing was gonna." And I told you I was like, "Yeah, she's not gonna message back it," but she did. And I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool." I'm kind of nervous, but you know, she just was like, "Do you have any like I I put my my Tinder profile has my pets on it?" So she she asked me about my pets, what their names were. I gave them their names 
and then she was just like oh that's sweet like what um what kind of what kind what, um, what breed your is your dog so i told her my dog breed and i i said with an exclamation point which i only did one not two i usually do two but i i did one you know, and I meant that it is a very yeah. enthusiastic. Like, I've been doing a lot of exclamation points as well. Yeah. Like, yeah I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I love to snug. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect date is uh, getting in bed and doing little <laughs> snuggle wuggles. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> but so I meant that in the most and then enthusiastic way. And I was like, yeah, I didn't get an answer. So before I went to bed. I checked and the message was gone and I was like, well, and I was like, but I'm like, that's just so weird to me. That's just like, what, what did I, I, I didn't do anything. I, I, so I, I went back to my likes and then it's still, she was there Yeah. and it said unmatched. So I was like, okay, maybe Tinder's just bugged. <laughs> but then I, so I did, I looked up like what to do if your tinder's bugged like log out clear you know clear cash or whatever you know like the, all that all that app stuff and then i went on the likes again and it, that unmatch option was gone so she didn't unmatch me and to this day i don't i i just don't know what i did <laughs> i i just i don't know <laughs> if the exclamation point was like a, a what was the message again did she, you say the message she yeah. said what kind of dog do you have and i just told her what my what breed my dog oh, was oh right yeah <laughs> i was just like she's a german shepherd <laughs> and that's and then i just got an unmatched because of that yeah so i don't know if <laughs> i don't know if the exclamation she probably saw the word german and was like yeah <laughs> I don't know if there was just like an exclamation. I don't know if it was just like she misinterpreted the exclamation point as me being like yelly or something. I swear, but that's just like, but it's like you use that for enthusiasm. Yeah. Like, I don't it, know. But, and then, but it's, or she's like just against the dog breed. And then, like, again, I'm still kind of upset about this. Yeah. Cause she seemed like a really sweet person. <laughs> she, she was a elementary school teacher, which mm. I, I, I do like. like yeah. I think that's very admirable and the only describe was that she was just more adventurous that was probably it that was like probably our only disconnect something that we have come to learn is that women, women are, are very fucking stupid yeah on dating apps yeah <laughs> they will like match with you have like a 10 message conversation back and forth with you and then you'll be like the nicest person ever and then like the next like you'll message them and then a day later you'll just be like okay maybe they're busy and yep. then like two days later it's just like okay yeah. they unmatch me yep so it's just kind of like I right, well i don't know what i did wrong i just told them i like tacos <laughs> yeah it's just like i i still just i don't understand like it, it just it just baffles me so much and you know i've i mean technically i did get another like but she was an astrology girl and pff, no nope no i mean hey if you got a like from her that means you pass the most annoying test possible and she saw your sign and she was like okay he's one of the three that i like i but if i do it now it's just like I, it doesn't say if she's like active anymore, so I'm just like kind of. Mm. So I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm okay. Maybe I might be a little bit desperate, but but. I mean, hey, like. And then ever since then, that girl, my Tinder's just been absolutely just a ghost town. Yeah. I've only gotten likes from bots mm. and matches with bots. I have. I have swiped so much that I will probably develop arthritis when I'm elderly. <laughs> yeah. Or get carpal tunnel, like. And I have 
went on the you know the discovery you know and i literally like went through every i went through like three or four different categories and maxed out all of them so that they just have to constantly like refresh or say there's like two people available yeah <laughs> like it i did also photo if they're photo photo verified which i think is pretty key yep and i have gotten absolutely nothing and i was there's like and i've gotten a lot that i'm just very optimistic about too but i just know that it's just not gonna go anywhere <laughs> yeah you just have to like be very specific with what you say for some reason yeah because <laughs> like if you say something it's kind of like you're like a world war world war ii soldier and you, you're like a v vietnamese soldier where like you can just step on like a landmine at yeah. any point and you don't even know yeah yep <laughs> um yeah so i i mean it does appear that there does seem like newish people sometimes so yeah i wouldn't lose it... hope that much yeah i'm i'm just not gonna keep the subscription <laughs> yeah Unless I get, like... Oh, yeah. Even if I get a like, I'm just still going to be cautious now. Because I'm like, I'm not going to, like, spend another $30 for a weekly subscription. Just to keep for that one week. Because I got a like that's from a bot. Mm. I, I mean, think can't I think, you cancel it? But you can't. But if I... When, when I go back to, like, the base version, I can't see who I match with. Yeah, but you can't cancel the subscription? I did, can I did cancel it. It expires tomorrow. Uh, I upgraded. I spent an extra like six dollars to go to platinum, so I can message one girl who was like way out of my league. Yeah. But I've just just like oh, got man. nothing from that. And I didn't. I didn't. Another and also I. I did get like. I and I hate. I found out this way. It was just like I got. There was a. A girl that was like, that was also my luck, that looked like normal, and I was just, I did message, like, hey, and then I didn't get back anything for, like, days, and then, like, it, the message disappeared. So I didn't, and I was just like, oh, well. But then when I was scrolling through the, the thing, I saw the girl's pictures again, and there was more, and I was like, I was like, oh, well. Yeah. But. <laughs> There's a lot of bots. There are. And it's I, just, I'm so intrigued by it, though. I'm just like, where are these all coming from? <laughs> what? I ran into the same Latina. I um, ran into... Like, multiple times. I ran into a blonde woman. Like, multiple times. And it's so... It is so... I find this so terrifying, too. And I, I showed you, like... They will... You know, they'll post their Instagrams that will... Obviously, if there's an Instagram, that means there's something else on that Instagram. Yep. <laughs> yeah uh yeah and then and it's just so weird and and when i like go on their pages they they do look normal enough like they don't look like a bot account or anything but but it just but it's just so there's just something so off about it though that's just like and but when i um but this was just was so creepy though about these bots is just when I ran into the same blonde woman again, there was a different Instagram account. So I, I, I you know, I, I, I go look and then I see, and I was just like, wait a second. So I, I pulled up like both Instagram accounts and I'm like, this is actually creepy because it's like the same layout for their Instagrams, but they're lo they changed their location and it's like so creepy to be like local areas. I'm like, this is just so weird and like like this feels like some underground like creepy thing. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like kinda irks me. <laughs> and then I think I I shouldn't have like deleted the inst but I, I think like something else is up because I remember um there was obviously another bot, but when I went on there, like, you go to their, like, they're all their links, and then they'll be the only fans. And, but I was like, why is the web website layout the same? And then I was thinking a little more, and I was like, wait a second. And then I 
compared to the one I have saved. And I'm like, they're literally using the same photo backdrop. So I'm just like, and I'm like, is this like, are these AI? Is this like, it, I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, kind of like creeped out by it. Like, it's just like something so off about it. Like they, they look, they, I don't think it's AI, but at the same time, if it is, I'm not surprised <laughs> about it at all. Yeah. Because it's like, it's so creepy. <laughs> like, the same photo, like, the same lighting, same backdrop, but it's just a different person. It's, like, so weird. So, I'm like... And I'm like... I'm like, this can't be a coincidence. Because, like I said, the website layout is also identical. So, I'm just thinking, like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Um... But even like then, like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think it happened after our, our our session though. I did get, I did get. I finally got a match on Bumble, and then I was thinking of what to say, and then I went to send it, and it was gone. Yeah, this happens sometimes. Yeah, I think I had that happen to me once. I think on Bumble, and I was like, okay. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I had my first success almost was on Tinder and I, I, I did the, um, category thing where I went into the, uh, to go to gamers or I went to a lot of them, but the yeah, one I got I success like... in was uh, fucking like active or sh some shit like uh -huh. that. The, uh, the sporty. I see. Um, and it was this like twenty-three-year-old girl who looks like when I say this, like it, not what you think, but like the, the crazy type. Ah. Um, and, and the the fun crazy type. Um, I liked her photos, and she seemed real. She was verified too, so I was like, I right, fuck it. I doubt that she'll match me because that's just what happens. Um, but yeah, like a few days later, I just, I think I saw her like match me and then like I accepted it and, um, I like, I didn't message her, I think, but like sometime later, I just got a message from her that was just like, hi, man, like all, all like exclamation points, uh. um, and all that, like super cheery. And then we talked and then she was like. So do you do anything like outdoorsy and like me, I'm like someone who does want to do like outdoorsy stuff, but like I don't have a car and I don't have people who I hang out with that much that mm -hmm. like going outside other than playing Pokemon Go. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of talked to her about that. And then at the end of the conversation, uh, she was like, all right. I can tell that you're interested. So then she sent me oh. like something like that. Not not like creepy, but like she could tell like I was like uh -huh. just something along those lines. And then she sent me a Snapchat and then I, I was like, <gasps> okay, let's go. Yeah. Um so then I went to her Snapchat and then I sent a friend request. Um and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Um I I didn't know if she was going, she said she was going out. So I don't know if she was like implying like going to bed or like going out somewhere. Going out, out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was just like, I just assumed like, okay, she's going to bed. It's like 10, 11 PM at this point. So it's just like, oh yeah, good night, by the way. It's just something like that. And the next day, um, I think it was just like, I was just like in a state of like, oh, this is so hype. Like this is like the closest I've ever been to like having like a significant other and like person. So then I just uh, opened up our messages and I went to her Snapchat just to like look at her like, I don't know, like, this is weird. So you did to talk to her people. on Snapchat? Right? No. No? Um, oh, I, so I, you I, messaged her still on Tinder? Or? 
Um, I just went to her Snapchat just to see, like, uh, <laughs> so this is your profile, huh? And then yeah. I, like, I was at work at this point. Um, I think this was Monday or Tuesday, I forgot, but I saw that, like, there was, like, an error, and it, sh it just said, like, could not load profile, <laughs> and I kept doing that through the entire day, and then it did, like, I never saw her profile again. Like, anytime I tried going there, I would get that message. And I even told you, like, hey, she's not on my, like, friends list. Like, usually, I don't know if this is the case, but when you send someone, like, a friend request, I'm pretty sure they are on your, like, friend thing in a way. On Snapchat? No, not chat. It's just, um, the friend uh -huh. suggestions area, I uh -huh. think. I don't know. But she wasn't there, and then I tried searching up her name, and it did not come up, her username. So then I was like, hey, this is going to be random, but I need you to do some science for me, and I need you to search this username, please. And then you're like, okay. And then nothing came up, I'm pretty sure, wow. on your end. So then I was just like, okay, well, I'm in, like, a lose-lose situation, because, like, if I do nothing, then, like, most likely nothing's going to happen. But if I, like, message her about it, then, like what do i gain from this so then i like just was like all right fuck it i just messaged her like in the most polite way possible and i was like hey i forgot what i said but i was just like i i i don't think i can find your profile anywhere like it disappeared or something like that mm -hmm. and then she just did not respond at all after like a couple days so then i was just like all right I'm just going to delete this chat because uh, it, it, it's kind of off-putting now. Yeah. Like, she seems real, too. She is verified. So the fact that, like, all that kind of happened was just, like, weird. And then, it, like, the weirdest thing... I don't know if it's because, like, my phone has, like, a lot of storage. I have a lot of pictures of just nature and gup and my other pets on my phone pornography too um <laughs> but like the the first time i went to open snapchat like the day the night after i added her it seems like i was opening snapchat for the first time because like it was like a white background i had like no friends i had like 11 friend suggestions i i didn't have anyone and it was like, hey, create your Bitmoji, create a profile. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? So, like, I feel like I probably got, like, kind of like a time loop or something. I don't know what fucking happened. But, yeah, that was, like, my first, like, almost success story, I guess. And then after that, the day after that, like, I went home, first of all. Um, and I was like, I was devastated, so I had to like take a break from like everything for a bit. And the next day, I was just like, all right, fuck it. I, I like rock music was playing in the background on my mind that day at work, where I was just like, swipe, swipe, swipe left, right, 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 yeah. left, just like going through all the categories, everything, yeah. even when I'm bumble again, just to be like, all right, time to evaluate these women. Um, and yeah, um trying to think it's driving me insane i i i got no success from that no. <laughs> adventure at all um but then something happened something miraculous um it just so happened that actually no wait i i, I joined match um somewhere in between this mm -hmm. i forgot the time frame with this mm -hmm. um so i joined match because I was on my computer and I was just like, this tender is not active whatsoever right now. So I was just like, I went on Google and I was like, what is the most like active dating app in our area? And then it was just like, match. And it was just like, all right, you know, sure, whatever. So I just made an even, account. Yeah, even though I think like it's probably most resonated <laughs> with older people. But... I mean, I, I saw like a quite a bit of people my age. Okay. I, I did like the set age settings from like twenty four to like thirty, uh -huh. and like I got like a decent amount. I think I got like twenty ish, thirty ish, and then I mm -hmm. 
after that, I ran out of people and I haven't gotten a new person since then. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got one profile view on Match, and it was one of the girls I liked, a twenty-six-year-old, um, and she didn't want, she did not like me back. That was that was the most success I had on Match before I deleted it. I deleted it like yesterday or the day prior. Um, so then after that, you well before I deleted it to begin with, you suggested that I go to Hinge. <laughs> and I heard that one's also just very popular too. That's why I, <laughs> I went to Hinge and I did the same settings. I did like all the same photos for all of them. By the way, yeah, I me too. I mean, I um, because I think the photos I have are just like the perfect lineup. Um, I got the photo of me smiling, the photo of me like trying to flex, and just like looking like an e boy. Um, I got photos of me uh with my animals. You got the photo of me looking like a fucking green giant at a hockey game. Um, the perfect lineup. Got the image of me looking tall, you know? Um, so then I just went through um, a whole parade um, of all that. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it was uh, great to say the least. I was yeah, trying I, I to. Did postpone yeah. saying anything because I had something to say but I saw my mother sitting in the top of my room because I feel like she was eavesdropping um so that's always fun but yeah I went swiping with the settings I had and I swiped on a dream woman of mine a Latina that had like medium hair had that specific hair. She even had like a couple moles on her face, which I don't know why, but I've been attracted to moles on faces for I don't know why. In the recent years, I just feel like moles on her faces, not a whole lot, um, are just attracted for some reason. So then, like, I yeah, I swiped right on her, and then like randomly, I just saw her like match me, and I was just like, oh my god! Uh, so then I said hi, and then uh, she said hi when I was at work uh and then like an hour later I was like just trying to be nice and I was like <laughs> hope your day is going well sorry for the late response she has not messaged me since um so I consider kill myself like five times <laughs> yeah I hinge is okay for me I, I'm not really a fan of like you have to like something specific on the profile that's just like <laughs> yeah so I, so I always go for like like a funny prompt like a prompt or like a bio or the bio or something because like i don't want to like a picture that's weird i i i'm the opposite i i'm like all right here's the one i like i i like specifically the photos because like i don't know man it's I, just might, like, I might change up my strategy you might you might have to the way i see it is if like you like one of the photos it means that you like how they look and i think you know I don't know. I, I'm not trying to be like that guy or anything, but like, women want to feel like, oh, I, he thinks I'm pretty. You don't want to like one of the prompts because it's just like, does he not like the way I look? Like, do I have something in my mm, teeth that, or something? That is true. That is true. Um, so that's why I like the photos. And it, I try, even if like they have like a kind of like almost kind of sexual photo, I'm like, I, I think I only liked kind of like one like semi sexual photo uh from someone there but for the most part i kind of just like uh i like the selfies it's just the one that i like the most and all that um so yeah you always gotta like the selfies on hinge because take it from me who has one match on uh hinge um women like that i think i don't know um so yeah that that was uh my hinge experience i i got a match from a latina who's i will let her ruin my life and yeah i nothing has happened and i'm very sad about it um but bumble came out of the shadows 
and was like, hey, I got you. Um, I did some more swiping, and I... Ooh, I got a new match on Tinder. Ooh? Okay. A let's, bot. It's a bot. see if it's, it's a, a fucking bot. bot or not. It's a bot. It's time to play, is it a bot or not? <laughs> let's see. You gotta hope for the verification. Not verified. Okay. We'll do that you look okay. realist. Yeah. Okay. She has you know, a she does have a prompt. Okay. So we were both in the creatives. Mm-hmm. Just Okay. I J Jake. Um, uh, <laughs> I know I told you to go only after like verify people, but at this point for you, you might just have to go for anything at this point. <laughs> If they I, look I, real enough. I think she's way out of my league on this. Bro, if she matched you, why not? Just take the chance. Okay. Like, you would regret not taking the chance than if you did and failed. I It does... It did give me, like, an auto thing. I'd be like, hey, like, how are you having a nice day today? But I'm like, I don't want to... I don't like... God. I know they're trying to help, but... With those, like, the shuffle, like, prompts, but... I just, some of them sound so robotic to me that it's yeah. just like, <laughs> it's like, it would be like, wow, he's like, so. My go-to is like usually, hey, what's up? Or hey, how's it going? Or something like that. I'm going to do that right now. Hey, how's it going? And yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah. make sure you don't have like the needing to be verified thing on too. I don't know if I have. I don't think so, no. I don't... On, like, the... When I'm searching, or...? No, just, like... I don't know. Just, uh, hang on. Let me see. I don't think I have that. Um... No, I don't. I In the discovery settings? Uh... Or... The, the settings settings. So go to your profile... Uh -huh. the, all the way to the right option and then go to the gear and then scroll down yep. mm -hmm. and where it's like control who messages you oh. uh, disable the must be verified control who you see Okay. control my visibility and it will just control uh, is it this uh, control who yeah yeah it looks and like I, that I don't have it enabled so <laughs> So your layout looks like a little different than mine, so I was very confused. I also did get like another match, but like I don't know, man. It's just like that's a good one. The photos with this one just get like progressively worse, and by the end of it, she's like she's like a yeah, Disney adult. <laughs> Ugh, man. Ugh. Oh, all right this. anyway what you were saying um yeah i, I just had like the urge to like <laughs> check because i was like man it would be really funny if i got a match during the podcast yeah. and look what happened yeah um so for tinder i went swiping and you know those um for you things mm -hmm. both of mine i'm pretty sure came from those um in general because the first night I was just like, I right, let I me think look I through. Did a couple, well, maybe I don't. It gave me four women, and oh I was yeah, like, I did the for you page, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. I remember now. Yeah. I um, I tried one of them out, and you know what? I should put my one phone. of them had a picture like uh, the the bio was like uh, bun mom or something, which is like uh pretty much a bunny owner, um. <laughs> And I was just like, I looked at her photos more, and then like her profile just in general seemed appealing. So I was like, this might have been the saving grace because I meant to like just a like in general, you know, just like swiping right in general. But I actually didn't. I accidentally sent her like a super like or something, on accident, and then instantly, I go to the messages and I saw that she was already a match of mine. Uh huh. Um. So I was just like, all right cool so then i messaged her like hey how's it going something like that and i was like what's um the 
I don't know if she said hi before or after this, but like it doesn't matter. I asked her like if like her rabbit was like a Dutch or accent and she was like, Oh my god, you know, like just super happy about it. <laughs> um Matt knows the rabbit lore. Yeah. Um and then like I was like, Yeah, I, I I'm a rabbit connoisseur. Um and then like I showed her um a picture of Gup doing a little sleep and then i told her that uh he was an old rabbit and then she asked what was wrong with him and i said everything <laughs> <laughs> no but i told her like the health things that's going on with gup and um i don't know if i fucked up i might have fucked up which is why i'm glad i have a backup at this moment but i sent her three messages two of the first ones were the things that Gup was going through, and the second one was like, yep, it sucks. And then the third one was like, I know how these dating apps work. I don't want to lose the ability to talk to this nice, appealing woman. So I was like, hey, I don't know if you're comfortable with me yet, but I know you have an Instagram would you consider sharing your Instagram ha handle so that we can talk on Instagram? Uh -huh. And I messaged her that last night at 9 p.m. It is currently almost 6 p.m. And I am on the verge of a mental breakdown. Yeah, I, I am too. <laughs> um. So yeah, I currently have another match from a from another girl who swiped right on me i saw her in the for you page as well and i was like i thought about it but this was after like i had already matched with like the bunny mm -hmm. one uh so it's just like uh, she's nice she she looks good but i i just gotta know when to play my cards um mm -hmm. And they don't really tell you, like, how to react when you are talking to multiple women on dating apps. Because the goal is to obviously get one at least. And you want a single girlfriend, right? Yeah. I'm scared because I feel like if I were to talk to multiple girls that I would not only, like, get, like, attached to all of them to a degree that I would get close with them, and if I were to date one of them, I would feel very horrendous for the others, because I don't know how I would approach them with, like, uh, if at all, like, hey, looks like you're a loser, <laughs> like, I have a girlfriend now, womp womp, like, you know, just, like, breaking the news to them, like, the dog died, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, I know you haven't had to really deal with, like, talking to, like, two women at the same time yet. But it is, like, the most dreadful thing because you're just like, okay, what if both of these women, like, the, the, the conversations go well? Like, which one do I choose at all? So it's just kind of like that. Yeah, we're both into just monogamy and <laughs> so it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're not I like... don't mind doing poly, and I know I'm gonna be sounding like one of those guys, which is like, oh, of course, Boy as a boy. guy, <laughs> of course, as a guy, you want to date two girls at the same time. But no, it's just I don't know, man. It's just like if we're all on the same page, and like the other two women are good with it, yeah, and I'm no good dudes. with it. No dudes. Yeah, I don't know if that's like an asshole thing for me to say, but it's just like, yeah, it's just. It's just a preference, man. Whatever. Fuck off. And, like, it's not like I'm, like, dating these women for sex, by the way. It's just like I'm actually, like, looking at their profiles. Yeah. And I'm not like, all right, this is a hot babe. Even though she likes traveling, she likes astrology, she likes going, uh, traveling worldwide. I want to hit that, you know? It's just, I'm not like that. I, like, I actually have to, like go through like a criteria i mean i mean i'm still just like i mean i'm the same thing but if i see a, a hot woman i'm still swiping right and being like yeah i would but <laughs> yeah i'm in the same way though i i 
I, I've taken a very realistic approach at this entire thing, and maybe it's kind of screwed with me in some way, but I don't know for sure. Because maybe if I swipe right on like a couple of them, as opposed to swiping left, I could have gotten maybe a little more matches. Who knows? I don't know. But it's just the way I am. Like, if I see like travel or like bar hopping, or some yeah, shit like get, that. I get a little like. It's like. I get a little nervous. Yeah, it's just like, I don't mind drink. I don't mind if you drink, but like just like bar hopping and like, I also get like, a little icky with like the nightlife one. Mm. like the club ones in general which is yeah. like clubs are scary <laughs> even if like they don't I'm have so it in scared. their interests if i see there were like a lot of like appealing looking women where it's just like they looked nice i like their bios i like their interests but like it's just like they look a little too of interest for me yeah well like they're they, just they, like, they, at like parties. Have a, they, have, they have like a selfie that they're like at like like in like they're like behind like the Roman Colosseum or something like that. Like, oh, okay, yeah. we're that adventure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> Maybe at some point, but I'd I'm be also... like, I'd be like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also I'm talking too... about like they're like at a, like a college party too, which Ooh. is like, oh no, I don't think I. Uh, this is not the place for me. Um, I'm not like that. I'm good for like little parties with friends and all, not like. A whole bunch of people where things can just go horribly wrong at any second due yeah. to alcohol. You know? It's just not for me. So, yeah. Um, I've also had it where it's just like... It's like, okay. She, she's cute. Yeah. There's some common interests. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm about to swipe right. And I look in the bio and they're like, open relationship. I'm like, God damn yeah, it. Yeah, that happens. Damn it. <laughs> So much, so much. Oh, I man. saw one today that was straight up just like, oh god, where she's just like, I'm in a relationship, but I want friends with benefits, and it's like, oh, does 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 he know? <laughs> <laughs> does he? Know? You discussed it with him, right? Yeah. <laughs> I I also got one like last night that was just like, she's just like, I'm in a I'm in a. I'm in a relationship, but my husband wants, or boyfriend, whatever, she wants me to explain my bisexuality, and I'm like, oh, sure he does. <laughs> sure. Uh, fucking cuck over there. Mm. Cuckle McBoggle over there. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sure he does. He totally does not either want a threesome or want to watch you two, like, passionately make out while oh, he's yeah, in the corner exactly. jerking off. Let's not care ourselves. We probably be the same way though, but <laughs> I know I just be like <laughs> nice, <laughs> and then just <laughs> like like do I leave or yeah. do I join? Can I, or, yeah, like, I'm gonna do, get do the I, popcorn. Like, I, do I have to knock? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do, guys? Please help me out. Uh yeah, I'm just like really bad with signs in general. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, it just happens. Like, but that one that was just like, like that was kind of like her just trying to be like kind of sneaky about it just irked me so much. It's like, yeah, you're kind of a red flag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had that same thing with that uh fucking Latina mm -hmm. one too. I saw her like five different times. Yeah, and I was like, anytime I saw her, it's just like. Yo, oh, you hot bitch, get away! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See this, like, blonde woman, and I was just like, oh. Yeah, like, they, and then sometimes they, like, change the name to it, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Mine was always just named Paula. <laughs> mine, mine was always the same, but it just, like, there was, like, this one time that it was just a different name, and I'm like... Yeah. Then I look at the Instagram, and I'm like, oh, it's you. Yeah. Again. You mean, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's such a, a wasteland of chaos and I, <laughs> I, I'm like on the verge of giving up, but I'm like, yeah, 
I've been there two multiple times, and then, like, I'm always strung back into it. It's like, maybe if I keep going, maybe if I keep gambling, it will pay off. You know, 99% of gamblers quit before they hit the jackpot. <laughs> 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 and that's what gets me going. I'm just like, oh, I gotta get that jackpot. <sighs> I gotta get to the end of the rainbow to meet the leprechaun. Ah. Uh, yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah, and then, like, today, I, like, I changed my bio to one thing, and then I was just, like, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. So I changed it again, and I'm just, like, I need to, I'm, like, I need to, I, like, changed it to, like, trying to be funny, <laughs> but I'm also, like, showing that I'm kind of having a mental breakdown as well. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, the first time some... you changed it, I, like, asked you what it was, and it was just, like, a yeah, it was, to... yeah, yeah, cringe, cringe, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a reference to, like, Nightmare for Christmas, and it was, like, Jake please <laughs> yeah yeah and then i was just like you know what and i just like i like i'm so done with this. i i'm like i literally wrote like i hate it here <laughs> yeah i mean i've seen a lot of um women yeah who like yeah please get me off this app yeah and she's like okay i'm, like, I'm right here <laughs> put the effort in then yeah and stop deleting the chats yeah please <laughs> Just like the the problem is though that like a lot of them are on the app just because they're bored and they want attention too. And it's just like, oh my god, just like, can you not like, oh my god, like anytime I saw like I'm only here because I'm bored, it's just like instant left swipe. Like yeah. I'm not fucking dealing with that. I also just anytime they put like requirements or something, I'm just like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> And it's always like it's like it's just like if we did that we would be we would be seen as assholes. Yeah. But they can all be like, you need to be at least six feet tall, like okay. Yeah. It like I it's always like for me it's always like you must be six feet tall, and it's like, okay, I checked that one off. And it's always like something else that like I have and it's just like, oh wait, good, good. You have it's tattoos. Like, yeah, like... I have tattoos, it's like, ah shucks. Have a like, full beard, like ha, ha, like drive a truck. It's just like I I can barely try like I can barely drive like a sedan. Like <laughs> the fuck. And then all them like I want to be the passenger princess. Like oh my god. She's like, well, I want to well, be. I don't drive. I want to be passenger passenger princess too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like why I. The main one of the main reasons why I even went only. I love to, like, riding. I, I. It's just I love riding shotgun. Okay. <laughs> I. I. I love riding shotgun. I debated if like I should have, but like. I will be the honor of being the passenger princess in this relationship. In you my should. bio. Like if these next two, hopefully not gonna where they don't fail me. I'm gonna knock on wood on this one too. Just like. I have two shots here with these two on Bumble. The first one is working out, hopefully. But if not, I have a backup. As much of an asshole thing that it's to say, I'm just trying to be smart and I'm trying to be like considered. You gotta, rem you gotta remember that probably from their end, they probably have a lot of guys in their messages too. Yeah. So it's yeah. Just like, what? who cares? You know what? You're right, Jake. You know what? I'm gonna go on Bumble, and I'm gonna go accept, uh, the the girl who matched me through for you page and all that stuff and stuff. Um, the only and yeah, and I had the I kind of had this also kind of scary feeling that was just like when that girl like unmatched me. I was like, oh god, did she see I'm still swiping or <laughs> <laughs> did she? Which I try to see if there was a setting or like try to Google if that that's like an actual thing that people can see if you're still liking like and that's what I thought, but I I don't think so. I don't think that, can would, see. that would that would be a huge privacy thing. <laughs> I th uh... but that just kind of has me like kind of worried. <laughs> the only thing I think that's why with this girl I'm just not gonna swipe <laughs> is <laughs> just like... in case. I think they can only see if you're like active or something. And yeah, just like oh that's awkward. Well, don't you want it to say you're active? Like, yeah. But, I don't know. <laughs> Being says to, like, actively like... 
<laughs> like oh, actively damn it. swiping through women. Yeah. yeah. Right now. <laughs> like, oh. You got they, me. They just send the notification to the girl like, oh, he's swiping again. <laughs> <laughs> Better get your mans. <laughs> Come and get him. <laughs> Cheating out here prematurely. <laughs> Okay, I she already messaged back. Oh, wait, wait really? <laughs> the yeah, new, the new one. Um. Okay. Um, I put my phone on fucking vibrate, man. <laughs> um, hang on, let me respond to this. Uh. I also, like, really find it annoying that it's just, like, when they always, like, I don't know, am I about to sneeze or? Sneeze, bitch. Okay, that, that feeling just disappeared. Okay, what about now? What? I'm flat, I'm burning the, f Is that, bright, does that trigger a sneeze? Bright lights? Yeah. I always saw it, did. Does, really? Yeah. Bro, anytime I was, like, in the shower, I remember I was, like, in the shower, like, 13, and, like, I had to, like, sn I, I felt a sneeze, but it wasn't coming out, so I just looked up at my lay, and I, I was like, ah, too! Like, it works! Imagine if you get, like, flashback, and you just hear, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Just, like, you're on the verge of a sneeze as a secret spy agent, and, then, like, the bad guys just, like, shine their bright lights on you, and you're just like, Hang on! There he is! <laughs> He's sneezing. He's vulnerable. Okay. Oh, what were we... What was... What were we talking about? I don't know. You had a sneeze. No, yeah. Like, I, now I just lost my train of thought now. <laughs> okay, you were... You were you, the girl messaged you back. Yeah. You were saying you want to message or something? Another girl? Or... What? Oh no, I was just, just I I, I said I put I putting my phone on vibrate. Oh. When she mess if she does message me. I I also did check if the tab <laughs> disappeared, which I'm probably gonna be doing like checking frequently out of paranoia. Oh <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> it'd definitely just be like that for sure, man. <laughs> yeah. I have just actual fear, just. Like, okay, she messaged me back again. Hang on. Oh, geez. I woke at a warehouse, and people are very mean and annoying, Big and I hate it here. Yeah. But she asked where you worked. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a good sign. Yep. Yeah. She's got to know what your freaking income is. Yep. <laughs> I I also yeah I do see a lot being like I need the blue color <laughs> like oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I mean hopefully she likes uh, a little bit of a warehouse guy yup 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 I make sixteen dollars an hour yeah it should really be like in parentheses like oh by the way I make like five hundred a week yeah <laughs> <laughs> I should yeah. Don't get turned off just yet. Uh, hang on, I make money. <laughs> yeah. I make good money. Yeah, oh, spawn again. Uh-oh. Um, she says, yeah, I heard warehouses are kind of just like that. Money do be yeah. good, though. Oh, she speaks like me, man. Oh, this <laughs> is it. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have, like, ten mental breakdowns. Oh, a week, but you know what? Chicken butt. I know. <laughs> you know what? It's Chicken fine. butt. <laughs> but you know what? It's I might fine, put that in my know. Tinder bio. It's like, you know what? <laughs> Chicken butt. Uh. Okay. 
Uh, God, this is really hard to do during a podcast. I'm sorry. Uh, duh, okay. So yeah, I respond with, yeah, I have like 10 mental breakdowns a week, but you know what? It's all fine and all that. Yeah, all good. Yeah, it's all Gucci. Yeah, all Gucci. Yeah. 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 Just taking years off my life, wasting my time. Yep. Doing a job that I fucking hate. I get yelled at sometimes, but you know what? It fits my feelings, but you know what? It's money, so. It sucks for them because they have to give me money. Fucking suckers. Yep. <sighs> so, uh, Jake. Yeah. You have a boost, right? No. That you say you have one no nope. had to buy I, one for eight what's weird was like i was gonna do one at the same time the bumble one like you get i think you get a free one every week on bumble or something and i was gonna do them at the same time and i swore i had a free one and then i i went to like the duet and then it was gone and i was like okay that's that's weird so yeah yeah i the problem is is just it's more of a financial thing right now and also it's just i'm trying to i put it on my credit card but i'm trying to pay off my credit card and and i use my like you know my debit card or whatever but i also don't want my mom seeing tinder yep yeah so <laughs> she's like matt jake what are you doing on tinder yeah you better not be having sex it's like mom <laughs> look at me <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, I fucking hate hookup culture, dude. It's literally so fucking grimy. I could not. No. I attach too easily. <gasps> oh, Same. my phone just vibrated. <laughs> the vibrator over there is going off. Oh, it's just for a mobile <laughs> Damn it. For a freaking golf game. Yep. A golf. I was so bored yesterday. I was playing a golf game. On my yeah. Playing golf online. <laughs> <laughs> she responded with no definitely not fine my guy lived in spain without the yes <laughs> really yeah oh she's the one yeah she's the definitely one. the one though yeah mm. bro to say i'm turned on is a uh, understatement <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, golly gee, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this TikToker slash Instagram dude I follow in it, and I think he, like, was reacting to, like, someone did an edit, like, deepfake of, like, him and, like, another content creator doing, like, this, like, like song about, like, like Sneaky Link or something, and he just, like, he kind of just stares at the camera for a few seconds. He's just like, I'm kind of turned on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie to you, chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt is typing away over there. Yes, yeah, I. He's trying to think of a response. I just sent it. It's oh. just like, yeah, she was just like, yeah, it usually is like that. I'm like, yup. I just go home and take naps because that's when I'm the happiest. Something like that. Not those exact words, but just something like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm fucking fumbling already. <laughs> I'm happiest when I'm asleep. Please put me in a coma. <laughs> Please suffocate me with your thighs. <laughs> I, I remember i got like one that was just like she literally put on her bio like don't call me mommy or i'll block you. and i'm like oh god damn it <laughs> yeah like oh come on man <laughs> not even while we're dating like come oh. on. You, uh, pretty please with the cherry on top <laughs> please please <laughs> Yeah. She's like, please don't call me mommy. Please don't call me mommy. Like, no promises. <laughs> it's 
typing away over there. Yep, I'm sorry. Typing away. Are you, what are you writing a novel over there? <laughs> no. She responded with, uh, well, in my, the, the relation to the, uh, Naps message, she said, uh, I, I wish that would me. Love that for you, though. Um, and I was like, yeah, I just asked her, like, oh, do you not get to nap or something, you stupid bitch? <laughs> 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 just fucking lay down. No, but I, so she was like, oh, do you not get, like, a chance to nap? That's unfortunate. Not, like, dry like that, but. I'm trying to sound, like, enthusiastic, even though, like, it's hard to do that in text form. Oh, okay, oh. she's texting again. Oh, does it say she's, like, typing or something? Yeah, it does, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, okay, she said it's not even that. It's just super hard for me, too. Oh, wait, okay, if she's, getting, if she's getting personal, don't, oh, <laughs> don't read right. out aloud. <laughs> so I'm just giving an update. Um, okay. Yeah, if, if she's, like, trying to vent to you, let's, like, right. <laughs> let's, like not blast her on the podcast. Yeah, I know, I agree. I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just saying, like, I'm just not kind of thinking right now. Um, uh, okay. See, oh god, hang on. Um, you want to say anything while I deal with this? Okay. Just talk to the audience. Uh, hello, audience. It's your boy, Biggie Cheese. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say, like, I remember when, like, back in like early this year, when I would just. When I was watching every episode of Law & Order SVU, I remember I would just lay down on the couch and then I'd get a, like, my eyes would just start to, like, drift off and then I'd, like, black out and it'd be, like, four in the morning and I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> I, I have to start getting ready for bed and, yeah. So I, I don't nap, but sometimes I accidentally will. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I think I'm just getting to that age where if I just like lay down for too long, I'm oh, just like, yeah. Oh. yeah, man. Bro, do you have that situation too where like you are like, I right, nap time, I'm gonna only nap for 10 minutes, I'm gonna set a timer, and then like you get up like three hours later. <laughs> like, because your alarm went off, I, but I, you're I, like, I hate, you snooze. I hate, I hate that if like if I want to nap. I, I can't fall asleep, but I will fall asleep randomly. <laughs> I oh, hate <yeah>. that. <laughs> you know what sucks? Because, like, it, I, it, it feels so much more comfortable to, like, take a nap in the daytime. But, like, at nighttime, when I actually had to go to sleep, it takes me so much longer to actually yeah. sleep. I hate it. It sucks. I wish I just slept during the day. It's like, like, come on, man. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, we're just getting to that age where we just, we're, we get too comfortable if we're like laying down, we're just gonna not get knocked out. Oh yeah, like it's, it's, yeah, dude, I, I, it's so mind boggling how like the prime of your body like active wise it's just sometimes like i'm just like 20s sometimes it's just like if i i feel like i'm drifting off i'm just gonna be like you know what fuck it like alexa set a timer for two hours <laughs> yeah and just i uh, just like all right i'll find like i'll just <laughs> fucking fall asleep yeah like, this is what you have to do sometimes it's like, it's like yeah if i if i try to fight i'm gonna pass out anyway oh exactly like you you can say i sell limbs no matter what like i set at five sometimes and it's just like even that is not enough for me to get up it sucks i fucking hate it Ugh. i think it's just in my genetics because i remember like my both my dad and my grandpa just they can just get they can just fucking fall asleep if even if they're upright like us they'll fucking fall asleep and yeah I, I could never 
probably when I'm older, I probably will. But like, like right now, I I cannot. <laughs> like I remember we were at like staying out late at my uncle's house during a party, and I you could you can like see like the dining room through the living room, and I just see him at the end of the table just <laughs> asleep. Mm-hmm. Well, we're all like we're all like partying, and I just. <laughs> He's just passed out on the chair. And my my dad's even worse. My dad will sit, like, upright on the couch. And then he'll fall asleep like this. Yeah. He'll be on his... He's always on his phone. And he'll, like, drop his phone. (laughs) (laughs) He'll make, like, a loud thud. Just like... (laughs) It's like, is he dead? Yeah. (laughs) You dead? (laughs) You... Yeah, he just... (laughs) Dead. He's, yeah, he's just always on, and I just, and it's just so weird to me that he still just does this every night, even though he knows he's gonna fall asleep. Then it's just like, dude, if you know you're gonna fall asleep, just go to bed. Yeah. But he's just like, no. <laughs> well, I, I want to watch right wing propaganda. Yeah, I want to watch Ben Shapiro. Yeah. Okay, the girl has um. Slow down on the responding. She's probably busy, man. I don't know. Well, man... I'm trying to be optimistic over here. I, I'm i trying to be, too. It's hard. I've had that with with friends being, like, talking to them, and then they respond quickly, and then you send one, and then it's just like, oh, what's the... Oh, they're busier. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know, man. It's just sometimes your PTSD is just yeah. like, oh, they hate me now. I don't yep. know what I did wrong. Yep. Oh. Duh. Yeah. Yep. Um, the uh, got to talk about, um, I think the friends app. It's just the most annoying thing ever because, like, it's just like you can make your settings on that app like so specific, and like it'll be like people like closest to you from around the state, but like it's like sometimes it'll just be like 60, like 80 miles away, and it's just like, bro, like I want like people near me, like. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to be my friend all the way from fucking uh fucking Eastern Mass, like the hell, or Canada. Yeah, like please stop. I've gotten like twenty like likes on the Fins app, and it's just like, bro, all of you are like at least fifty miles away from me, and most of them for some fucking reason are gay. I don't know why, I don't know what it is with this app, where it's just, like, the only, the, the majority of the likes I'm getting are just, like, from gay guys, and it's just, like, okay, something's up here, this is definitely, like, an undercover app for, like, gay dudes, just to fucking, like, meet a main goal, it's just, like, you guys, this you, isn't like, grinder, have an app like, for that, This right? isn't grinder, guys. <laughs> yeah, like, you, you guys have an app for that specifically, yeah. like. Don't you guys have your own app? <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing on this friend-making yeah. app? Yeah. Like, oh my god. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I think they're trying to have that friends to lovers arc. Oh, exactly. Exactly. I've seen some girls put that in their bio. I saw one that she's like, <laughs> I want the enemies to lovers bio, and I'm like, eh, not gonna lie, that sounds kind of kinky. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that stuff, too. Yeah. It's like, I have a, I think I saw that, and like, I had like an ocean to be like, message to her, like, you fucking dumb bitch! <laughs> like, man, I don't know why, that sounds kind of kinky. <laughs> I bet you sleep with your mouth open, you slut! <laughs> I bet you shower with that clothes, you dirty whore. <laughs> Fucking naked piece of shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Okay, the new girl has not messaged me back. I think she's dead now. I don't know. Well, she probably... Can't be on her phone right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, yeah, I don't know. Phone. She's on a fucking phone. She's a she's her fucking boyfriend. 
What? Oh no! What? Oh no! What? Huh? Oh no! What? Her boyfriend? Me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, wait. I don't want to jinx myself, dude. I think you did. No, I didn't. Shut up. Please knock. Him. Psych. Knock psych. Him. Not her boyfriend at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what's just so weird? It's just so baffling to me. It's just like when I like met a couple of like the matches that are from like actual people, they like want like obviously they look for the long term. Then I'm just like, I'm so inexperienced. I'm like literally inexperienced with this. Like, wh how how do we go from here? Mm. What what do we do? Do we like just hang out a, a, a couple times to see where we go or I, I just don't know yeah. i really just don't know um it, it's just yeah that's just it. It, it this is weird this is uh, yeah, like this, uh, this entire thing has kind of been like a kind of like fever dream. Yeah, because just is like it feels like you're just on like the cusp of like, oh my god, I could meet the one here, but like at the same time, it's just kind of like nobody likes me. Yeah, and I'm petrified of that. Yeah, just. Just like anybody, please just say hi. Tell me my best stinks. I don't know. Just just say something to me. <laughs> Spin on me. I don't know. <laughs> just do that in general. I don't know. I'm into that. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, this is just. So, which was this on Bumble or or Match? This is on Bumble. Ah. That I am on right now. Yeah, both of them are on a Bumble. Um, Hinge was almost useful, until it wasn't. Hinge is just I've got. And it. Tinder is just like a cesspool. Tinder, of yeah. nothing. Yep. Besides bots. We've gone a fair share of matches, but literally nothing came from them. So yeah, it's 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 great. I'm gonna try the liking the photos. Yeah. Strategy. Definitely. Definitely try that. And like, you know, even if these things don't go in the direction that we want, we're, we're still going to keep trying because we have uh, literally nothing to lose and we just are desperate and all that good jazz, the good shit. Yeah, I'm just... Sometimes you just gotta change up the strategy, I guess. Exactly. Because, like, when I was, like I said, I only wanted to do the prompts because I didn't want them to think I was just, like, going after looks. Like, I was, like, if they had, like, a... a uh, I, I did, like, I, I sent you the screenshot. Some girl, literally, she was, like, asexual, which I'm not really... I don't really vibe with that much because, you know, I, I do want to lose my virginity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she just literally wrote, like... We need to like agree or disagree that the second live action Scooby Doo movie was superior to the original, and I was like, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah I. That's kind of what gets me with the girls who say they don't want kids. It's like, I want kids, and I'm okay. I, if, I don't know if I do or not. I'm okay I'm, if I'm, they I'm don't. I'm in such like a weird. I'm in, like, this weird thing that is just, like, okay, like, I have a mental, mental health runs rampant in my family. I'm on the spectrum, 
I don't want my kid having to go through the bullshit I've had to go through, mm. which is what every parent probably doesn't want. And I don't want to put them in a fucking crappy world that they're going to get judged. And but at the same time, it's just like my grandparents are getting old, like, and I want and I was fortunate enough to be alive with two of my great grandparents and I want that for them. And they're so my great my grandparents are getting old like yeah man so it's like I want I want them to like have that fortunate thing too to be with their to know their great grandparents yeah I, like my, I want my, that from the for them too <laughs> my grandparents uh do not get close at all to getting any uh great grandkids at all. Last one died in uh, 2015. My last great grandmother died in 2021. Hmm. She was in her early 90s, I think. That's insane. So it's just like, yeah, that's just kind of like, like. So I just feel like a like like I said, it's just I'm not sure. But at the same time, I'm just like I feel like there's a freaking ticking clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's um for me it's just kind of like i know i don't probably want kids in the next couple of years i think i'll start wanting kids for real like in my like late 20s if i'm ready but i'll definitely probably want kids in like my 30s just when i know i'm ready i'll be like all right yep Let's go. Let's go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> like this, this just like I said, it's just like I want I want but I been then it'd be like, you know, it'd be better because all my grandparents are alive. Yeah. So and they wouldn't have to be like me that they would only know their great grandmothers because I never met my great grandfathers because they I think one died before I was like I think before my, like when my mom was like, like a toddler, and then I think, I think one probably died like around the time my mom was pregnant with me, or like maybe like shortly before then. Mm. I I'm not really sure. And then I oh and then, <laughs> all all the ones on my my dad's side are 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 dead. Yeah. There were only like three that I know of grandparents um, that I guess I've met. Um, one of them doesn't really count because they were only alive when I was like a baby. And yeah, that means that I met them, but like, I don't fucking remember them at all. Because I was a fucking baby. So I've only technically met like two grandparents and they were just, um, you know, both my grandmothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, so it's just like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure, but at the same time, I'm like... I'm. I don't want to make the decision too late. Yeah, I agree. Starting now. Going to the picture strategy on Hinge. Hell yeah. Nothing yet. I'm not surprised by that. I mean, sometimes it takes a while. Yeah. Are you on a Hinge? Yeah. You know there's like an active today thing you can do? The filter? Oh. Yeah. Found it. Oh, I need Hinge Plus for that. Oh, man. That is... Let me see. 17 a week is not bad. But 
and 35 a month. Oof. What is, I don't understand the... I don't understand how the prices... Not like how they just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the prices for these apps are... absolutely are, outrageous. Yeah. Could you like at least do a free trial or something? Like, right, like... Well, that that would like risk them for you like getting a match, and it working, and then like them not getting any money from you. So like they have to like fucking suck you dry before you get sucked off dry. Yeah, I was about to just, like say like a. Gosh, golly, man. Did you do any prompts on Tinder? Cause I, I, I hate, I hate doing these prompts, but <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I gotta make my thing freaking complete. Like, I, I did I do it. prompts. I'll read them out right now. <laughs> the class, um, the, the kind of okay. The, um, I think I got rid of one. I forgot what it was. Um, I'm like might change <laughs> one of them that I did like the meme one that was like. <laughs> I I was just like you know it might be a. I have two prompts. the The serious one is I want someone who is empathetic and understanding. Yeah. And the goofy one is the key to my heart is yeah. going up to the cashier to tell them that I didn't order onions in my burger. <laughs> so, I mean that that's true. By the it's both true and a meme yeah. one. But. Yeah. That's yeah. What I did with mine too. I, I wrote, like, the hottest thing you can do, and I just wrote, is sing for me. And I wrote, and then I, I edited it, and I put in parentheses, like, you don't have to have a good voice. Mm. I wanted to emphasize that. In case, like, they're like, what, what if I'm a bad singer? Like, nope, it don't matter. Yep, just fucking sing in my ear. Like, if I like you, like, it doesn't matter yeah. how good your voice it's is. It's the sentiment. It's perfect. That's the cinnamon that counts. Yeah. No, no, it's just like if you're automatically like <laughs> like them, it's just like how good their voices doesn't fucking matter. Oh yeah, I guess. They, yeah, I won't see a fucking bitch and you're just like you have to have the most amazing voice ever. No. I swiped right on <laughs> I swiped right on this this girl. I don't I don't I guess she's from my area. She she really posted a picture. She's like, I was a contestant on the voice in America's Got Talent. I was like, swipe. <laughs> Even though I like looked at her Instagram, she had like five thousand followers. <laughs> Me just casually shooting my shot yeah. at someone who was not contestant. Um, just, I've had that before too. That is just like, there was like this one who was like an an activist and shit, and I still swipe because she put like a Star Wars quote in her bio, and I I. God, and I hate that you have to super like to message because I want to like finish the quote to show that, you know, like, hey, I like Star Wars, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I saw what you did there. Yo, I should just be like, that's yeah. so annoying. Like, it's just like, OK, I, I want to message her. Then I go to like to do the thing. And then it's just like, oh, you need a super like for that. Like, <laughs> why, why? Why are you giving me the option then? I was co treated by Keemstar at some point. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Back in uh, 2016. Oof. Yep. That time period. The the dark days yep. of YouTube. I would go back, but it's just like, also the like... Edgy, no, the edgy has just aged like milk. Oh, I mean, obviously, like, the time period that we're in, uh, every time period it just ages horribly on the internet. Yeah. Yep. Like. Yeah, and then you have, like, some just content, mainly, like, iDubs, who still think it's, like, that time period. It's like, no. I don't not... think he thinks that at all. I think he knows his prime is gone. Yeah. That's why he's, like, trying. Yeah. Onision was like the same way if you like go on any of his I wouldn't, but I used to be an avid Onision viewer way back. I still am an Onision <laughs> hater. 
No, I said I used to watch him. Oh. Like, Oof. in like the 2010s. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like the weird... Although, like, every time I'm, like, into, like, the weird girl, like, they always just post how, like, that they were, like, the first man who, like, traumatized them. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Seems to be a common thread here. The, the first what? Like, man that, like, traumatized them. Onision? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro. So I don't know, man. Onision, like... That was such a funny time, though. Like, when he... he was getting outed so much, it was, like, such a... He was always getting a... <laughs> man, his mental breakdown was still, like, the funniest thing ever. Yeah. It's my vegan body. <laughs> the kombucha. <laughs> and Are you good, I, I found out, like... The, the the term talk to him like when he said like he enjoyed watching other guys fuck his wife i think it's just anybody because i know there was like time when he had like the women before well before his his husband transitioned yeah which from all accounts his husband's also a bad person too mm. but he kind of like kind of influenced them to be bad but they still were doing some awful messed up shit too yeah such a that like right before covid it was just such a so chaotic just like oh what's onision up to this week like yeah how is he defending the the call outs right now how's he gonna defend chris hansen what's he gonna do i remember where I was when I saw, like, Chris Hansen showed up to his house. That was the funniest <laughs> shit ever. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. I remember He the... rolled up to his house. Onision in the elevator picture. Oh, I... Do you know the context of what happened? No. Okay, okay. So, this might have been, yeah. Early 2020. <coughs> he... <coughs> So that elevator picture was from court. Hmm. He rolled up to court looking like that, but yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. So he basically he sued another YouTuber, um, Repsion, who I used to watch. Not so much anymore, but I just don't. Yeah, I just don't really much watch like the like main content creators or like anything involving like drama and shit anymore. I don't, I'm just like kind of over it. I don't really like care as much anymore. Yeah. But anyway, so he he cuz they both live in the same state, so he just sued him. But then he tried to sue Chris Hansen, but he sued the wrong one. <laughs> Lovely. So yeah. And so that that man showed up to <laughs> looking like that. And yeah, basically. Yeah, it was such a weird time just and then like i there was the elevator picture but then there was the one where he's like standing but he looks like he's like at my friend i remember my friendly message like dude he's literally look like he's standing at a urinal <laughs> and he like did a photoshop out of it so I'm like yeah he literally does look like he's fucking at a, he's like fucking standing in it behind a in front of a urinal right now oh yeah but yeah that was just such yeah, I think then once those documentaries came out that were just kind of shitty, and it's just like, yeah, I don't. I could care less about that, man. I, I hear some escapades he gets up to lately, but other than that, I just. But. Back in that, like, early, like, right, early 2020, right before COVID hit, I was a full on, like, I want this man to get taken down. <laughs> yeah. Always, like, seeing what he was up to, if there was any new, like, video essays about him, and... But, yeah. You know, <laughs> say what you want about Leafy, but at least he called Onision out on his bullshit way back then, before anybody else did. I mean, people hated Onision way back then. Yeah, but he was, like, kind of... About the grooming shit, though. I remember... 
Yeah. But he also did some. But that, it was. But mainly, everyone during that time was like mad at him because of all the shit he was saying about Christina Grimmie, which was so fucked up. But I don't remember the exact words, but he was just like he was talking so much shit for a girl who was dying, and she did die. Like, yeah, you have a like a lot of nerve to be talking shit. <laughs> mm. That's still one of those things in history that I'm so fucking mad about. That yeah. shit should just not have happened. <laughs> it just, yeah. Honey is yeah, it's just kind of uh, I mean a What can I say that hasn't been said about him? Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Just you'd basically just be in a broken record at that point if you yeah. try to describe him. Like generally like fucking like piece of shit. Yep. Just weirdo behavior every time. Man literally like memorized the age of consent in all fifty states. Like that's just not normal. <laughs> you shouldn't know the <laughs> you shouldn't know the age of consent in any state, honestly. Oh Even yeah. Like why would you want to know yeah, that? Yeah, you should just think like, okay. 18 is good enough, and that's it. The only, the only time I've had to look that up was for when I was in high school, because a dude who was like a couple of grades ahead of me, who was like kind of my friend, he wanted to date someone who was in our grade, and he was like, I think he was like 18-ish, so he was just like, is this okay? And I was just like, looking up, I looked up like the age of consent, and I was like, yeah, you should be good. Like, I guess, like, was it a two-year difference? Two-ish. They did end up dating, but... Uh, who gives a shit if it's yeah, fucking two yeah, years? Yeah, two years I, doesn't fucking yeah, matter. Yeah, I remember asking my mom about it just because I was just like, you know, like, shit. Is it... It's like either two or three or something like that. Yeah, like two or three is whatever. First pushing it. Yeah, oh yeah. So it's just it's like, like a ninth and twelfth grader. That's like different generations mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, it was just like... That was like the only time I've had to like look up like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, like you should not you shouldn't. Why would you want to know? Why do you need to know that? <laughs> unless you're like unless you're actively studying law then like yeah, but other if you're like just a normal average guy then like why do you need to know that? I mean, all I know is it's varied in states. A couple of states are 17. It's, Bunch I, of I, I'm just gonna, it's, probably, it's mostly like 17 consistently, the, but some of the areas are either like probably higher or lower. Yeah. But who, yeah, it's like, in my we, we, opinion, don't, we don't need to know that. In my opinion, the age of consent should be 20 or 21. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Why do we need to allow fresh out of high school people to be able to fuck anyone at an illegal age? An 18 year old should not be fucking like a fucking 50 or 60 year old. That's just not okay. Any then you, gender. Then, you, then you'd have like that, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm like with you, but at the same time, I'm like. <coughs> at the same time, I still think people who are like the 18 and 19 could still take advantage of people who are younger than them. So it's like still like. It's like, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with that as well. Um, I don't know. I, I, cause like, yeah, they're legally an adult at 18, but at the same time, you know, uh, uh, someone who turned 18, like fucking a month ago is pretty much the same exact kind of person as like someone who's like about to like almost going to turn 18 in like a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. It's like, I see no difference between, like, an 18-year-old and, like, a 16 or 17-year-old. Well, they both have, like, the word teen at the end of their ages. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, though, like, I'm, I'm with you on that, but, like, at the same time, I still think <laughs> that people who are 18, 19-year-olds can still be predators. <laughs> I think that college age, and I, I know, I know what you're going to say. 
you always say this, which is like, well, anyone can go to college. I'm talking about like I, the normal college age, like 18 to 22, I like should that. have like their own little consent group, which is yeah. like only you guys can fuck each other. Yeah. Um, let the 17 and unders do their own weird shit. Yeah. Play on Roblo- Roblox or something. We'll play there, I guess. I don't know, man. That's what they do sometimes. Fucking weird, but we've all been there. We, I, I role played on Club Penguin at seven. Um, and look at me now. I'm a degenerate loser who has no girlfriend. Um, and you know, people twenty three and plus can do whatever they want. You know. Cause that's that's when like brains fully develop it's and you're 25. just like, shut the fuck up, shut your fucking mouth. But we got we got one more year. <laughs> you got yeah. a few months. And your brain's just like. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's. It feels like my brain is getting mushier by the day. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's developing honestly in the most critical time of its existence. Yeah. I feel like it's like getting worse as time goes on. Yeah, I agree. It's just, I'm, I'm in the same boat, man. And, and this is like my brain right now is like almost as smart as it's ever gonna be. I, I'm I'm fucked. I'm like doomed forever if that's yeah. the case. Cause like I I'm so like unaware of things a lot of the time. And it's just like. Bro, if, like, it doesn't make, like, a huge drastic difference in, like, the next couple of months when I, like, turn 25, I'm severely fucked. You just wake my up life. and you can, like, you just wake up and suddenly you just have, like, these, like, like, your brain <laughs> just, like, magically peaked and, like, you're smarter now. And... I wake up and I'm like, mother, I saw Einstein's visions. <laughs> I'm going to Harvard now to teach a class in paralysis. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what? What is that? And it's like, mother, husheth. <laughs> and I just walk out of the house. And I use her card. That needs to be a chat GPT story. Yeah. Albert, you have a dream about Albert Einstein, and you suddenly you're smarter now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I don't, do you think, like... Albert Einstein's wife got smarter His from like cousin. You mean? Do you think she got like smarter from like sucking him off, and like the cum went <laughs> in his mouth? That like his like DNA went in her, so it's like she got smarter from it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like <laughs> there needs to be a study on like her brain before and after like she sucked him off. <laughs> Before and after Albert Einstein blowjob. Yeah. Like the IQ of like the blowjob. <laughs> the blowjob's like. Gotta ask his cousin about that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you know he did that, right? What? He married his cousin. Oh, yeah. Happens a lot. <laughs> so did Edgar Allan Poe. She was also an underage. But yeah, was, she was. was. I get it as a time period, but. I think even then it was probably weird for the time period. <laughs> I guess, yeah. It was mostly like 15. That was like the more common, not like 13. Yeah, yeah. But that's more than the one I'm willing to separate art from the artist because, uh, you know, it was, the, it was the 1800s and people didn't really give a shit back then. Yeah, they kind of just did whatever. Yeah. Like... You could just, like, do the most heinous shit in, like, the 16, 1700s, 1800s, and, like, no one would give a shit at I all. I mean, like, to be fair, though, we I'm pretty sure we still have a few states that still allow child marriage, so. Yeah. I'm just saying. I saw a photo of, like, a guy and his child bride of oh. the age of nine. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Very cool and shit. Very oh, nice. That's so gross. I could not fucking imagine doing anything with a nine-year-old. 
Oh my god. I'd fucking kill myself. Speaking of nine-year-olds, so, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast, but I have a, um, revelating, uh, development from the work front situation. The work front? Yeah, work story, pretty much. So, did I ever tell or talk about, um, the anus situation with, like, one of the older, like, foreigner guys. And, like, how, like, me and her brother, Alan, like, saw, like, the older foreigner, like, talking to her a lot and just, like, being, like, kind of smiling around her. Oh, maybe, no, I think you were, I thought she was with a dude we went to high school with. But you tell me that, like, Something like the long lines of that. He was like 26 and he was seeing like a 19 year old or something like that. Oh, no, that's different. Okay. No, no, that that's not okay, at all. Okay, so I don't, thing. I don't, uh, so I, yeah, no, I don't think so. That's okay. the thing you told me about her was that she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, in a deleted podcast, yeah, guys, uh, anus is no longer at my job, uh, for a while now, actually. Um, so, yeah. Basically, there's a middle-aged uh, Afghanistan guy or some shit like that. Um, and basically, me and uh, my brother, Alan, would always, like, towards the end of, like, the, her time there, we would see this middle-aged guy, like, just talking to her and, like, just trying to, like, strike up, like, conversation and shit. Um... And I was like, hey, you know how I'm good with, like, getting weird vibes from people and how I'm usually right about it? Like, you should probably watch out for that one phone or guy and all that. And he's like, yeah, I'm getting the context, vibes, too. That might sound just so racist. I mean, I don't give a shit. Um, but, yeah, so, fast forward, anus leaves, um, and... A few weeks ago, I think like two-ish, three-ish weeks, somewhere around there. Uh, I'm in my area. I'm getting ready for the day. And I, I hear the brothers, Alan, and it, obviously his brother. I didn't come up with a name for them him yet. Um, f- fucking uh, anal. Um, anal. Brother. Um... So, you know, we got the siblings, Alan, Anal, and Anus. Yep. Um, I heard, overheard, uh, Alan and Anus talking, no, not Anus, Al, <laughs> god damn it, uh, Anal talking to the Ferno guy, and I heard something about a nine-year-old and something he did with a nine-year-old in his oh. home country. And then uh, afterwards, I just go up to Alan and I'm like, well, yo, um, hey, yo. <laughs> what was that about? And then Alan just told, tells me, um, and this is going to be a whole lot. So j- just keep your ears peeled. Um, My ears peeled. Uh, you're going to want to peel them after this. Yeah, I'm going to um, In his home country, he, uh, his god told him to marry a nine-year-old you might now this is might sounding a little familiar but i can't basically um (laughs) this guy i'm pretty sure this is what he told them and alan told me that he he sex had sex with his nine-year-old all the way up until she was 18 and then she he just divorced her i'm pretty sure once he turned 18. jake is about if he wasn't sitting down he would have fallen to his knees in a walmart right now we need chris hansen (laughs) yeah Yep. Chris Hansen needs to show up to your work. Yeah. Actually, though. Mom, Allah himself. 
went to this man while he, this man was praying for like the 50th time that day <coughs> cuz you know you know Muslims they yeah. got they pray constantly they have to do that yeah i remember i i think there's like one muslim guy in one area that i frequent and i just I remember just seeing him in the corner going like this. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? And I'm oh, like, yeah, I'm we like, have a oh, ton oh, of my book. I'm like, oh, he's just praying. Cool. Yeah. We have a ton of my work and they pray all the time. They have to take their shoes off and yep. socks off. Or their hat, little hat on. Yeah. Oh, mine don't have hats. My mind does. He puts a hat on. He, he has a little hat. He has a little yeah. souvenir. And so you're, you're telling me this, this man praying Allah himself just was just like see that child you got him got him there my child see that nine-year-old I wanted to have sexual intercourse with her <laughs> like bro Allah you, you crazy for this one like it doesn't surprise me how like I know that's like well you're being so insensitive I'm like dog that's just their country man <laughs> bro <laughs> You know what, man? I I'm debating I, I, on I, I talk, it, I, saying I, this or not. I I like talked about it before, and I remember. So when, like, there was a huge thing back in like 2022 about the new Doctor Strange movie that there was gonna be a lesbian couple, and it was like banned in Pakistan or something because of that. And then everyone got mad about it, like, why do they have to be gay people in the first place? Like, dog, why are you, like? Why aren't you more concerned about <laughs> your country banning gay people than like than over like a freaking Marvel movie? You're more upset about a, a Marvel movie not streaming in your country than like gay people being like thrown into camps and shit. Yeah. Like that's just crazy to me. I uh... I don't know, man. It's uh, that's just I'm gonna be straight up. That's just not a good part of the world, no. to be honest. Like they are, s I don't care if I'm being insensitive. It's just like they are just so behind in civilization. I, oh, yeah. I just to be straight up, like I don't give a shit if you think I'm racist. I'm just stating a fact. Or like Islamophobic or whatever. Like, man, like if your God tells you to fuck a fucking little child and marry her like time to rethink your religion i'm sorry that's all i gotta say i agree like i don't give a shit if you think i'm being well, anti-semitic or whatever you should take your uh meds yeah like, it's just like they just yeah they're like just so behind down there they're just women's rights yeah, women don't have rights. It's like gay, 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 gay people are probably <laughs> thrown into camps. Like, I'm comes, pretty sure they are. But here comes 13 year old uh, Emily from the comfort of her own home in like fucking Wisconsin to to call me racist and uh, Islamophobic. It's like, bro, Emily, if you were in the country, you would be fucking raped like seven times in one day. Yeah, like you will be beheaded in the street. You, you would not fucking defend you, them. Yeah, if you, you yeah, the moment if you, show, you knew. the moment you show your ankles, you're gonna get beheaded in the yeah. street. Yeah, like, like, Jesus Christ, like, I don't know. And I'm not listen. I'm not saying everyone over there is bad. No, of I'm not saying not. every Islamic person. I, I've is said bad. that before. Like, no, I, I, and like. Bill, a friend of ours, is 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 Islam, and me and him go way back. And I, I know it's just gonna be like, oh, that's like the same excuse as like, oh, I have a black friend. Like, no, it's just like. No, I, I've I've said it before. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with their religion, but it's just like, you guys are like, you guys still follow like. <coughs> They still just follow ancient, like, 2000... They they have not changed anything in, like, 2,000 years. Yeah. They still follow the book verbatim. At least with, like, the Bible. Like, you can... The Bible had some misogyny in it. Yeah, but we... Even though our 
country is very, you know, I will say Christian based. Yeah. I know a lot of people say, well, with the freedom of religion, no, we're very, we're clearly Christian based, like. Christian Catholic. Yeah, Chris, they're different, but similar, but different, but no, because no, because Catholics in like the 1800s when they were coming here, they were pretty much getting harassed by the KKK. Mm. Yeah, you guys know that the KKK targeted more than black people. Mm. They were out for pretty much anybody. Yep. It wasn't like them. So yeah, I would have definitely been... Because they were after Italian Catholics. So yeah, I would <laughs> definitely... KKK would not be happy with me. Mm. But yeah, it's just like... So what I was saying was, yeah, we're definitely, I mean, to be like, we literally have like, we literally have like under God in our, our pledge. And I know a lot of people want that removed, but they're never going to, I mean, they literally just signed the, you saw that they signed the thing about the 10 commandments in like one of the states or something. Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, we're, 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 even though I'm pretty sure that, <laughs> I don't. I'm pretty sure when you think of like the Ten Commandments, I think of more like Hebrew, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the Old Testament. Mm. Which when. I but I I could be wrong though. Not really. I don't know. But that's just what I thought. I thought like. The Old Testament, was like the one thing that just Jewish and Christians just like have in common, and like. Christianity's more about both with the new testament because but because like you know jesus and that stuff but yeah it's it's just i i said it before on this channel like yeah i i like i i have no problem with their people specifically it's just there there's just a lot of problem problems with their culture that they just a lot they're just kind of just blindsided to to just keep following that's like there's never going to be any sort of change or anything yeah <sighs> and some people just bring that and and this isn't i'm not talking about like they shouldn't be here or anything but they sometimes still some some of the people will bring that shit over here and still think it's like the same here and again i'm not like saying we should ban immigrants but there's just a few of them that just still think they're back home and think their wives they can't have their wives think for themselves yeah it, it happens like it legit happens and religion of peace. I, I, do, I do think like i like so like i do think they're like there's definitely good, but it's just like it. I just think that it's like there are like tons of good, but it's just like just the negative just shine a light yeah. so much. How it shines. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, agree. I, said, I just. <laughs> like, I. I don't care what you are but i don't think p any group of people should be thrown into a camp forcefully yep nope no matter what your race religion sexuality whether you're disabled or not it it won't no matter what you are you sh you should not be forced to to be in a internment camp i completely agree Hmm. Um, well, the podcast is coming up on uh, two hours, so I think uh, we should end it. Sorry to end it off on a weird discussion, yep. Um, but you know what? Sometimes it doesn't hurt to get uh, some more serious topics, you know? Who gives a shit? Yep. Um, 
it's our opinions. We don't fucking. We're not. We're not fucking racist. So if you think. You're going to have that one person be like, well, if you say you're not racist, then you're racist. You don't know me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't give a shit what some fucking random YouTube user thinks of me. So, yeah. Kill yourself. Bye. <laughs>